Good evening. Recently, we have been missing going out to restaurants, going out on dates, going out and having a good evening out. Mm -hmm. And so... And delicious food. Yeah. And our favorite place to go to restaurants was Disney Springs. Yes. And so tonight, we wanted to go over with you our top five sit-down restaurants at Disney Springs. So when we say sit-down restaurants, we mean restaurants where you're actually served by a server. It's not fast casual. It's not like a quick service restaurant. It's like a nice sit-down meal. Yeah. And those are the places that we tended to eat at the most at Disney Springs. So our list is based off of the restaurants that we've actually eaten at. We have not eaten at every single restaurant at Disney Springs. However, that is something that I would like to do one day. Right. So our list may differ from your list because we may not have been to your favorite restaurant yet. But if you think we're missing anything, just leave it in the comments down below so that we can get right on it when we can get back out there and start eating at Disney Springs again. Yeah. So just as a little bit of background, Disney Springs is a shopping and dining district at Walt Disney World, and it actually used to be called Downtown Disney. They changed it a few years ago when they decided to expand some of the offerings that were available there. So now we have a lot of sit down restaurants, a lot of quick service restaurants, and a lot of shopping. There's also like live entertainment. There's little like booths and kiosks and places where you can get snacks and places where you can buy little souvenirs. And there's just a lot to do there. Yeah. So, and I think it's a really great place to, if you're going on like a little date night, you can have a meal, you can take a stroll. The sunsets are really great there. You can ride an amphicar. There's like tons of other things to do yeah. to make a great date night. And parking is free. Oh yeah, that is really nice. If you're staying on Disney property at one of the resorts, you can also get a bus or a boat from some of the resorts to Disney Springs as well. So that makes it really great too. Yeah. But I think we have a pretty good list. So what do you think? Should we get right into it? I think so. All right. So number five on our list is Terralina. And Terralina is located in the landing section of Disney Springs near T-Rex Cafe and right next to Paddlefish. And Terralina is an Italian restaurant mm -hmm. and it is delicious. It really is so good. Yeah. We hadn't eaten there very many times and we went and I was like, why haven't we been here? It's so good. Yeah. Like we went once when it very first opened and it was delicious. They have great wines. They have great, a really nice rosé, lots of different beverages, mocktails, beers. I think they have a really great happy hour as well. Yeah. But then we went back and I was like, holy cow, this pasta is delicious. Yeah. And the atmosphere in the restaurant is amazing. They have outdoor seating on the water and mm -hmm. they have a walk-up bar outside. So if you're just kind of strolling through Disney Springs mm -hmm. and you're walking by the bar, you can walk up, get a drink, and then take it around Disney Springs with you. But if you decide to dine in the restaurant, there are a few things that we think you should try that we had that were so delicious. I had the pork ragu gnocchi, and it was one of the best pasta dishes I've had. I mean, it was so good. I tasted it, and I can attest to that. It was <laughs> real good. The ragu, the pork ragu was so tender. I even had some the next day, and the leftovers tasted delicious as well. Sometimes the leftovers aren't as good as when you actually eat it the first time, but... This was so, so good. We had some really great appetizers. I forgot to mention the appetizers. We had some, uh, what were they, eggplant fries? We had some eggplant fries. Yeah. We had some stuffed olives. They were fried, fried stuffed, stuffed olives. olives. Yeah, they were so good. And then we had some cheese stuffed risotto balls. So I really like the cheese stuffed risotto balls. You said it didn't have a lot of flavor. Yeah, it wasn't my favorite. See, I really liked them. But um, I really, really liked the fried olives. Can we just go back to your to your entree really quick? Yeah. You said it was a really good pasta dish. I'm oh. sorry, gnocchi is potato. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so good. I really enjoyed that, and I would definitely order that again. And then for my entree, I got the chicken parmesan, which was delicious. It was a nice traditional chicken parmesan, burnt cheese on the top. It was a huge portion. Oh yeah, it was gigantic. It was so big. I loved it. Usually I don't really like spaghetti, but this time I liked it. <laughs> and then for dessert, we got this Paradiso chocolate cake. So Holy good. Cow. It was huge too. It was literally like Tim put his hand next to it and it was almost like the size of your hand. Yeah. It was so big. Super rich too. Mm -hmm. And it had nuts and it had fresh fruit. It was just a really delicious chocolate cake. Yeah. Fun fact that I've heard, and this may be just like a myth or like... Like a folklore. A folklore. But I have heard that the deal between Disney and the Muppets was signed by Michael Eisner and Jim Henson at what used to be Portobello's, which is now Terralina. Huh. 
Oh, there's some Disney history for you. Possibly. Or <laughs> Disney folklore. You yeah, never know. Who knows? So our number four favorite sit-down restaurant at Disney Springs is Wolfgang Puck's Bar and Grill. Yeah. Now, Wolfgang Puck's Bar and Grill is a new restaurant mm -hmm. that is located kind of across from Planet Hollywood and Chicken Guy and right next to the Coke store. And it's actually really close to the Orange Garage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely would park there for sure. Yeah. So we've been there a few times. We went when it very first opened, and then we went back recently, both times, fantastic dinner. And I think what I like most about it is that it felt really special. Yeah. It's not any more expensive than any of the other sit-down restaurants, but it just felt like a more elevated experience. Right. And I th we just had a really great time both times that we went. Yeah. So what did you get the very first time that we went? So the very first time that we went, we got a few appetizers. We got some bread that was really delicious. It was like a focaccia with, I think, rosemary. I had a really nice wine when we went the first time. And the wine was like a big portion. Yeah, I mean, it, was it, wasn't, it wasn't this big, but it looked like it. <laughs> it was a nice portion. Um, and all of the servers were really knowledgeable about the wines, which was really helpful because I don't necessarily know exactly what I want to order. Right. I know what I like. And they were, they were able to kind of guide me through the menu, which was great. We also had, I think, a charcuterie board that was really delicious yeah. and had some like different little fun stuff on it, which yeah. was cool. And my entree, I got the red snapper dish. I love fish. I'm a really big fan of seafood. I know you do not love seafood. Nope. But I like to try seafood whenever we go out because I don't get to eat it at home a lot. So this was really nice because it was fish, but it also had other seafood like elements in it. So it had some calamari and it was also in a tomato based sauce. So it was just like a really nice, delicious dinner. And the calamari was so good. I remember the calamari was not rubbery at all. Yeah. And I think it was the first time I had ever had calamari that was not tough. Right. Like it was cooked properly. It was so delicious. It was like tender. It was cooked the right way. And I was really like shook. I couldn't believe that it was not rubbery. <laughs> I really liked it. Yeah. And I had the steak frites, which I can't go wrong with steak frites, mm -mm. delicious French fries and steak. Awesome. And it had a delicious like butter sauce on top. Some yeah. Some kind of herbed butter. I enjoyed it. It was cooked perfectly. And I kind of want to go back and have it right now. I for sure want to go back and have it because we also, for dessert, had the key lime creme brulee. And I kind of remember that being like the star of the show. Yes. So the one thing about creme brulee is that it's always delicious. Like you can't go wrong with creme brulee. But key lime creme brulee, that's yeah. like, wow. Yeah, yeah, and it had like the brulee crust on it. And that had even a lime flavor to it. Yeah, it was so good. <sighs> really good, really creamy, really mm -hmm. delicious. Just a really nice take on creme brulee. Yeah, and then the second time that we went, we had, I don't think we got any appetizers. but We, we did, we got the oh, truffle chips. Oh yeah, we got the truffle the chips. The truffle chips, and they were oh, so delicious. Man. Yeah. Those were awesome. They were so good. Can't believe that I forgot about those. Yeah. And the other thing about those was, you know how sometimes if you order chips at a restaurant, they'll get like soggy halfway through the meal? Yeah. These didn't get soggy at all. No, and they had like a, so it had a blue cheese as well as some other herbs and stuff. And the blue cheese, there was like a like a creamy sauce as well. Yeah. And yeah, like you said, they never got soggy. Yeah. And then for the main dishes, I got the shrimp and corn risotto. Yeah. Which I was kind of, I, I really love shrimp and grits. So I was thinking like, oh, this is going to be like shrimp and grits. And it was a little bit different. It wasn't spicy. Oh. It was just a really nice, almost like a sweet flavor. Oh. So it was a sweet corn risotto. And then there was like this really delicious seasoning on the shrimp that was almost like a kind of a you know seafood seasoning yeah but then it also had jalapenos in the dish as well so that gave it like a little kick but it wasn't super spicy right and then for me i got the chicken wiener schnitzel it was so good holy cow it was and so also good. it was like the dish was like this big we could have split it like for sure easily yeah we would have been fine man and it was like pounded super thin Fried to perfection, mm -hmm. crispy. Yeah, and then it came with like all kinds of all these other different sides and it gave like a little honey mustard type thing to dip in. Mm -hmm. It really was a great meal. It was. Yeah. And then the ambiance was fantastic too. The second time, the first time that we went, we were back by the kitchen mm -hmm. and you could see into the kitchen. It was a little bit loud back there. And the second time that we went, we were sort of like towards the front of the restaurant yeah. by the windows. And that was an amazing place to sit. You could sit and like watch people walking by at mm -hmm. Disney Springs heading into town center it was really great lighting too so it's a little bit darker the farther in the back in the restaurant you go and in the front it was a little bit easier to see like 
I don't know. It, the both places to sit are great, but I think the the one up by the front was really nice. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Yeah, it was a really great. It's a great place to spend a date night for sure. Oh yeah. So our number three pick for our favorite sit down restaurant in Disney Springs is Wine Bar George. And now Wine Bar George is located in the landing section of Disney Springs, across from Jock Lindsay's, and sort of near Raglan Road. And now the one thing about Wine Bar George is its entire menu is based around wine. Mm -hmm. But they have some of the most delicious food there that we have ever tasted. Literally so delicious. Yeah. So great. They have um, really great rosé. They have a really great frosé. They have lots of wines on like tap, basically. Oh, we should also mention that George, Mm -hmm. the the namesake of the restaurant, is a sommelier. Well, and he's always there. Yeah. So you can meet him and talk to him. Yeah. Which is, I think that's really cool. You could probably get him to suggest a wine for you. Oh, for sure. I'm sure you could. So we've been a few times, but the last time that we went, we had the most delicious pork dish. I don't think it's something that's on the regular menu. Right. We went for the Wonder Fall event at Disney Springs, which was where a bunch of different restaurants around Disney Springs had special menu items for the fall season. I'm going to link some of the videos down below where we ate at these different restaurants, and I will link that one specifically just so you can see this dish was so delicious so we had it was called an iberico pork pluma Mm -hmm. and it was basically like a just a really tender pork loin i think it tasted like filet mignon pork it did it was like the strangest thing it it was so good we actually ordered another one of them we ordered two of these things because it was so delicious it was amazing so tender so buttery yeah like like Things that you don't expect to get out of a pork. Yeah, that was the weirdest thing for me, is that it was so... It literally was like filet mignon of pork. And it was. <laughs> it had like a nice char on the outside, like you would get a steak. I just can't get over that first bite. I did a little dance. <laughs> like, I bit into it and I was like, mm, this is good. I want more of this. Well, I remember we took the first few bites and we immediately, like, the, the server came over and was like, how is everything? And we're like, we're going to need another one of these. Yeah. Like, we weren't even done with the dish yet. And we're like... Please, we're, please give us another one. We need more. <laughs> it was so good. It came with a squash puree, which I think is what gave it the fall feel. Right. And then also some little like Yukon gold potato medallions. Oh, yeah. It was just the most delicious thing. We were there that night with some friends and they actually got some vegan stuff. And we had never had any vegan items from Wine Bar George, but they got like a jicama salad. Oh, yeah. And something else I can't remember right off the top of my head, but they were both really good. Yeah. Which, I, I don't know, it wasn't something that I was expecting to enjoy, but it was delicious. But if it's not the wonderful season and you can't get the Iberico ham or yes. the Iberico pork... Although I do think they should put that on the menu forever. Yeah. <laughs> Try to go around lunchtime yes. and get the steak frites. So normally around dinner, most of the things on the menu are sharing portions. Mm-hmm. So you order one thing for two people. Yeah. But with the steak frites, they're only offered during lunch. Mm-hmm. And so you have to get there. I think lunch either ends at 2 or 3. It's so you have worth to get there trip. early. Yeah. These steak frites are amazing. It was cooked to perfection. The french fries were delicious. I, when I tried them, the first thing I said, and this is weird, but they tasted like a like a very like a thick version of McDonald's french fries. I love McDonald's french fries. <laughs> and I just thought the fries were so good. Yeah. So good. And then the steak on top, cooked oh. to perfection. Mm-hmm. Nice char on the outside, very tender, very so easy tender. to eat. Yes. It was amazing. And we also had a really delicious charcuterie board, and that's something that they're also known for is the um, the different like meat selection. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, Wine Bar George does have a quick service window that we haven't eaten at, but I would imagine it's delicious because I've had the charcuterie board. And maybe some of those meats are available on like a little sandwich that you can get. Yeah, it is. It's like a little sandwich window. Yeah. So we'll have to try it um, one day when we can get back out to Disney Springs. Yeah. Man, I'm just like thinking about those steak frites. Every time that we go to Disney Springs, Mm -hmm. we try to make sure that we're there at the correct time to get steak frites. And if we're not, yeah, we always miss it (laughs) by like a couple of minutes or something like that. But But Wine Bar George upstairs. So um, this is something I wanted to mention. If you're going for like a date night, I know we keep mentioning a date night. I think it'd be a really great place to go for like a girl's night, a guy's night, you know, just friends hanging out, a date night, really anything. But upstairs they have, um, so downstairs it's like seating, like regular seating. Upstairs, it's more kind of relaxed and casual. Right. So there's like couches, the little low tables, where you would just kind of like hang out and have like a glass of wine with your friends. Yeah. They also have some outdoor seating. So I think it's definitely um, 
there's a reason why it's in the top three of our list. Yeah. And they also have a classroom area up there where they do have like uh, wine seminars and things like that. I don't know when those happen, but they do offer them occasionally. That's cool. Yeah. I didn't know that. So number two on our list of our favorite sit-down restaurants at Disney Springs is Homecoming. Yeah, so Homecoming is located in the landing. A lot of the restaurants, four out of the five restaurants that we picked are in the landing. Mm -hmm. And it is across from Morimoto Asia and kind of right near Blaze and Deluxe Burger. So one of the things that I really love about Homecoming is that it is a southern restaurant. Yeah. I love that. Because we were both born and raised in Florida... We love Southern food. Um, Southern cooking is fantastic. It's comfort food. There's so many things on the menu that are just things that I had in my childhood that my grandparents would cook that I just, it's a really great restaurant for that reason to me, but also because the food is just delicious. Yeah. So uh, this is a celebrity chef restaurant. This was started by Chef Art Smith, who used to be Oprah's personal chef. Oh, Yeah, and he is from Florida. He still lives in Florida now. Mm -hmm. And so he cooks Florida dishes. Yeah. So what is one of your favorite things to get at Homecoming? Every time that we go, I try to get the fried green tomatoes. It is so delicious. Yes. It's a fried green tomato dish, but it also has a tasso ham and some like arugula on top. It's just like the most delicious thing. It's almost like a fried green tomato sandwich without the bread. The ham really makes the dish. The ham is... Tasso so ham is so good. It has just like a nice salty flavor, which really adds to the fried green tomatoes. And it's the fried green tomatoes are crispy. They have a nice like cornmeal kind of a batter on them. It's just so good. I cannot get over how good that dish is. It's pretty big is the only thing. Yeah, and so it's the, an appetizer. Well, in the last time that we ordered it, we ordered it along with two entrees and it was so much food it was a lot of food so we have to always remember like that's a humongous dish but we always order it anyway because it's so good and one of the things that we ordered last time for an appetizer was the church lady devil eggs <gasps> those were so good those you were never amazing. think well you never think like oh i'm gonna get deviled eggs at a restaurant right you know you never think like this is what i'm gonna order at this restaurant um they were delicious nice yeah. and creamy they had a little like piece of crispy bacon on top, which really added to the flavor. And the entree that I get is actually an appetizer, and that is the thigh-high chicken biscuits. Mm-hmm. And those are fried chicken thighs with hot honey on them on his little southern drop biscuits. Mm-hmm. They are so good. Chicken thighs are always delicious to me just because it has that nice layer of fat. So it's very, it's just a different flavor. It's more flavorful. And then when you add that hot honey on it, it just gives it that little kick. And the biscuits are so good. Like, it's just delicious. Yeah, you and can't Art go Smith, wrong. Yeah, and Art Smith does pride himself on his fried chicken. Mm-hmm. And I think that the fried chicken thighs are his best fried chicken. There is a fried chicken dish, but it's chicken on the bone. And so we're not huge fans of chicken on the bone. But And they have a chicken sandwich, too. That's not on the bone. That's not on the bone. Well, see, and one of the last times that we went, I had the fried chicken salad. Oh, yeah. And that was really good. The fried chicken was delicious. It was more like chicken tenders. And that was delicious. The dressing was really good. It was like an icebox dressing. So it was just a really great salad. Really refreshing. They also participated in that same fall event that we went to. Yes. And they had a... Like a, a Thanksgiving meal in a sandwich. It was so good. Wow. Yeah, it had turkey stuffing cranberries Mm -hmm. it was awesome we kept asking them if they were going to put it on the menu the guy that we were talking to he said they probably wouldn't and i don't think that they did but i think they should yeah (laughs) it was so good and then one of the other things that i want to try the next time that we go is the hummingbird cake oh yeah you guys actually um have left comments saying that it's so delicious and that we should try to make it at home i guess it's something that's pretty easy to make at home but we've never actually had it at the restaurant so we need to do that yeah Another thing that they do that is really fun is that they have moonshine. So they have a bunch of different kinds of flavored moonshine. And um, one of the last ones that I tried, and this was a few years ago, was the watermelon moonshine. And it was so good. Wow. So good. So if you guys are into moonshine and you're into watermelon, I believe it's called the watermelon smash. Um, but that's I think a, you're right. I think it is. And I think that's one that you should definitely try if you're adventurous and you want to try the moonshine drinks. And then as for ambiance, the entire restaurant is sort of set up like a Florida room. And if you don't know what a Florida room is, imagine a porch, but instead of screen, it's windows. Yeah. So that's a Florida room. But the way that they have the restaurant set up, they can open up huge sections of those windows mm-hmm. to the outside. Yeah, it feels like you're kind of outside. Yeah. And the bar actually has... 
it's a like a horseshoe shaped bar inside and then there's one section that goes to outside yeah so if you don't want to actually go and sit down and get a drink or you don't want to like eat inside the restaurant you can just walk up to the window grab a drink to go walk around disney springs it's just really like a nice thing that they offer yeah and they have outdoor seating on the water we actually one of the last times we ate outside and it was really great yeah yeah i liked it a, a bird actually flew like almost right into us yeah it was fun <laughs> yeah so there you go homecoming number two so before we get into number one we wanted to give an honorable mention to splitsville because splitsville is a really good restaurant surprisingly yeah because it's a bowling alley so the thing about splitsville is that it has a really diverse menu the one thing that i really love from there is the sushi and you wouldn't think that you could get really great sushi from a bowling alley but you can at splitsville so not only can you have this really great sushi, then you can go play a round of bowling. And uh, it's just a really nice place to go with your friends, have a good meal, have some nice drinks, play some bowling. Play some bowling? Is know. that what you do? Oh, I, how do you say it? <laughs> I don't know. I think play, you're right. Play some bowling. Play around round do, of bowling. Do bowling. <laughs> we always have a good time whenever we go there. Yeah. So it, it definitely needed to be on the list somewhere. I would call it maybe like our number six. But it's definitely an honorable mention. And number one on our list, drum roll please, <laughs> is Boathouse. I'm sure you guys knew what the answer to this was. We talk about Boathouse all the time. We love it. It's so fantastic. Now Boathouse is located in the landing section of Disney Springs. Sort of uh, across diagonal from Wine Bar George. Mm -hmm. Right next to Jock Lindsay's and kind of around the corner from Terralina. Yeah. So fairly close to all of our favorite restaurants. It has fantastic ambiance right on the water. You can sit in a boat inside of the restaurant. You can look at the boats outside of the restaurant. You can take an Amphicar out for a ride. So we've actually never eaten in one of the boats inside of the restaurant, but it's right as you walk in and you go to the, the host stand, the boat is right behind it and they look so cool. So yeah. that's definitely on my bucket list. I would love to do that one day. But one thing we have done that I love is we have eaten out at the bar that is on the dock. Yeah. So that's something when the weather is nice, I highly recommend eating out there. It's just such a nice feeling to be outside on the lake with the breeze around all the boats. It's a really great way to spend a day to, to have a meal there. The last time that we went, we ate outside on the little wraparound porch. Oh yeah. We weren't on the dock, but we were right on the water and it was so beautiful. It was very nice. Yeah, nice the weather and was breezy great. and shady. When it's hot though, and you don't want to eat outside, the inside is just as nice. Yeah. So I really enjoy um, everything about the restaurant, the food especially. So when we went the last time, I had seafood, but they have really delicious steaks. Yeah. And I think that's what you normally get is the steak. I normally get the steak or the burger. I think the last few times we've gone, I've gotten burgers. Okay. And we, we used to get during lunch, these filet mignon sliders. Those are really good too. So basically it's just a slider with a piece of filet mignon in the center of it. Really good. The bread was also really good. I remember really loving the bread. But the last time we went, I have to say, I had the seared ahi tuna dish and it had shishito peppers underneath. And they even had a little hidden Mickey with the sauce on top. That was some of the best food I have had at Disney Springs. Yeah. Really so good. If you love seared tuna steaks, I highly recommend that. So some of the things that I've had at Boathouse that I think are delicious are the steaks, the burgers, the desserts, the sides, <laughs> everything. It everything that I have ever had at Boathouse has been delicious. Mm -hmm. I've had multiple different kinds of burgers. The most recent one that I had was a barbecue burger. That was awesome. The only thing that I said about that one was that the slaw, I wish it had been not on the bottom of the burger. I wish it was just like barbecue, bacon, oh, and burger. Because it made the bottom bun a little bit soggy. Yeah. Well, you know, one thing that I've always wanted to try at Boathouse that we've never tried, because we don't usually get dessert when we go there. We have had dessert when we've been there. We did a like a key lime dessert when we went. But they have a baked Alaska, which is something that you normally see on like cruise ships, the thing yeah. that's like on fire. Yeah. They have a baked Alaska like slice of... Yeah, it's like gigantic too. Yeah, I always wanted to try that. Next time we go. I think you need at least like four or five people though because it's so big. I'm going to eat it by myself. Are you? Yeah. I don't even really know what baked Alaska is. It just is looks so impressive that I'm like, I want to try that. Yeah. Have you guys had it? Let us know in the comments because it looks like pretty cool. Yeah. And let us know in the comments if you guys have a favorite restaurant at Disney Springs that we did not mention. Yes. 
because these were just our favorites. Well, and I am totally up for trying new restaurants all the time. Like, I, if, if there's something that we have to try, let us know. I want to yeah. try it. So, what did you guys think of our list? Yeah. Did you like it? Is our list similar to your list? Is it very different? I for sure want to know. Did you guys guess every single one of our favorites? I feel like our list is probably pretty predictable because we go to the same restaurants every time that we go to Disney Springs. Especially our top ones. Yeah. But hopefully there were a couple of surprises in there. Yeah. So all in all, I cannot wait to go back to Disney Springs. I know. That's something that I know we said earlier in the video, but one of the things that we miss the most about all of this, like having to stay inside is... I miss having delicious food at Disney. Yeah, just going to restaurants. Yeah. Oh. We'll get to do it again one day. Yeah. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah. And with that being said, we are off. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm Holly. And I'm Mark. And we're from New Jersey. And, and now, now it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.